Let's build a Chrome extension. If you're like me, you probably have a habit of killing time on YouTube, Twitter, or any other website. Sometimes I find myself going down a YouTube rabbit hole only to realize I've just wasted 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or even a whole hour. That's a waste of time. And I always regret doing this because I know that I should have been using my time more wisely, being productive, and getting through the mountain of tasks that I know I need to get done. So in today's video, I'm going to use a bit of code to solve this problem once and for all. This Chrome extension is going to enable me to block access to a list of websites to prevent me from getting distracted. I'll be able to add websites to this list and of course remove them as well. If I try to access a website that's on my block list, I'm going to be forwarded to my Notion task list, which is going to remind me that I have lots of work to do and shouldn't be wasting any time. Let's get started. So according to the documentation, our manifest.json file is going to be the home of our project. It's where we can define all of the permissions that we're going to need inside of Chrome, as well as the files that are going to contain the code for the extensions functionalities. For this project, we only need to define two permissions, all URLs, which is a host permission and will allow the extension to work on any URL inside of Chrome. If you're building an extension for a specific website, you might want to define the URL here. And we're going to add the storage permission so that we can store a list of the websites that we're blocking. Before we get into coding, we're going to define our default pop-up, which is the HTML file that's going to be displayed for the pop-up. Now let's start writing the code for our Chrome extension. First, we're going to structure a basic interface for our pop-up. At the top, we're going to have a list of blocked websites. And below, we're going to have a form which is going to contain an input and a button. This form is going to be used to add new websites to the list of blocked websites. Let's give it a test by going to this URL and uploading our Chrome extension folder. All of the web elements are there, but it looks a bit basic. So I'm going to add some CSS styling to make it a bit prettier. Okay. That looks much better. This interface looks great, but we still need to add some JavaScript code so that we can store the list of blocked websites. I'm going to create a new file called popup.js and make sure that it's referenced in the HTML file. Inside of this function, we can access the add site button as well as manipulate the appearance of the pop-up. When the add site button is clicked, we want to get the value of the text box. If the value is not empty, we're going to use the Chrome storage API to get our list of blocked sites, add the value to the list, and then save the updated list and we're just going to clear the value in the text input. Now, if I test this Chrome extension, we can see that the add site button does work, but we have no list of block sites. In order to display our block sites, we're going to need to create a function called update blocked list. Inside of this function, we're going to get the list of block sites from storage and use the list element that we defined in our HTML file to show the list of block sites on our pop-up. I'm also going to use JavaScript to create a button for each list item so that we can remove the website from the list. The entire list of blocked websites will now be updated every time I call this function. So I'm going to call it whenever a new website is added to the list. And I'm going to call it at the bottom of this DOM content loaded listener so that the list is populated in the pop-up as soon as it is opened. We're doing a great job so far. We've got a pretty nice extension which allows us to add and remove sites from our block list. There's just one thing that's missing. Hmm. We still need to block the websites from actually being used. This isn't actually that hard to do. In fact, I'm going to do it with just a few lines of code. First, we're going to create a new file called content.js, and we're going to add it to our content scripts array in our manifest.json file. This script is going to run on every site that we visit in Chrome. Inside of our content.js file, we're going to use the Chrome storage API to get a list of the block sites. Then we're going to loop through the block sites and check if the URL of the website that we're currently on matches one of the block sites. If it does, we're going to make the content of the web page blank. And I've also decided to redirect to my task list, but you could leave it blank if you want. Okay, that's everything. Let's give it a test. YouTube and Twitter are my biggest distractions at the moment, so I'm going to add them both to my list of block sites. Now, if I try to visit either one of them, I'm going to be automatically redirected to my task list. The only way to turn this off is to remove the website from the block sites list. And just like that, we've created a Chrome extension, which is going to prevent us from getting distracted. If you enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. See ya.